sí, gringo es, es el, son los extranjeros. Es que lo gringo tiene una fisionomía que normalmente es diferente del país que está visitando. Aquí todos son como indígenas y los gringos normalmente son rubios de, de ojos claros. Entonces, gringo es un extranjero fácilmente identificado. Early in 2013, Ecuador was named as the top retirement destination for North American expatriates. These incomers have flocked in mass. This influx of Western culture has left this mark on Ecuador. Entonces, eh, yo creo que por seguridad, por tranquilidad y por condiciones de económicas bajas, uh, ellos han decidido venir a Ecuador. Y además, pues que Ecuador es un país muy bonito, muy atractivo. Um, there's two kinds. Some kind are looking for quality of life, and they realize that they have to establish a new life in a new location. And then there's other expats who just want to say, I'm looking for a cheaper place to retire because I can't afford to live in my Social Security or my pension. This sentiment has not gone unnoticed in the retiree community. Yeah, this is one reason why I didn't want to live in Cuenca, Ecuador, because they call that Gringolandia. And from what I see, I mean, I've visited Cuenca, and it's a big American colony. A lot of them do not want to learn Spanish. They moved here for economic reasons, and they just want to hang out with, you know, all the other people of their own kind. And uh, to me, that's frustrating. If you're going to move to a different country, part of the adventure is immersing yourself in the culture, learning the language, and having a ball. In the United States, I lived in uh, many locations. Uh, I spent my whole, most of my life in Chicago, and it's a very different city now, just like anything else in life changes. Actually, what they say is they use the birds to tell when the breaks happen. The biggest positive actually has been um, uh, a whole new quality of life for me that I had never imagined to open up. There was, it all happened by accident. But, um, for, for whatever reason in life, accidents happen, and one of the accidents that happened here is I learned about organic farming, and that changed my life, and I believe I can change the lives of many others since learning that. It's como un incentivo para la gente de aquí del Ecuador, de que vienen personas de afuera a trabajar con nosotros para, en algo positivo para las personas del Ecuador, y... Y hay gente de aquí de Ecuador que no se preocupa de eso. Entonces, para nosotros ha sido muy positivo en este caso particular con Shelly, su familia, sus amigos de Estados Unidos, de Europa. Ha habido la oportunidad de compartir lo que nosotros sabemos, compartir con, las, eh, con estas personas y eh, conocer un poco más para conocer mejor nuestro trabajo. Many North Americans have made an attempt to assimilate to Ecuadorian culture and become a part of the community. I work at Liceo Internacional. This is my first year uh, here. I am a high school teacher as well as a coordinator of investigation. Um, investigation meaning I, I'm the coordinator of senior thesis and research methods. Um, I've met lots of uh, people here. Um, I actually met my, my partner here and we've been together uh, for almost three years. So uh, my partner's family is now my family. So I have an Ecuadorian family. One of the reasons uh, why I plan to stay in Ecuador is, is not only just the lifestyle and the culture and the geography that I love, but it's um, like I've learned like this whole new way of living that just happened naturally and it was part of like my personal growth, but it's one of the reasons why I love it. While the Ecuadorian culture is colorful, vibrant and exciting, 
The difficulties of moving abroad are ones that even the most exuberant expatriate cannot dodge. What are the negatives of moving to Ecuador? Let's start with that. One of the negatives is my children were really, I guess you could say resistant. They felt like I was moving away from them and they didn't understand it. Uh, you know, I have grandkids over in the U.S. too and um, they felt like I was moving away from them, which actually, I mean, physically, obviously it was. What they didn't understand was um, my goals and my hopes and, and uh, those kinds of things. Uh, moving away from my friends, right? And then um, missing some of the restaurants in, in the Chicago area. That's the baby brand Yeah, yeah. With the three petals coming out of it. <clears throat> Passion fruit, named by the Franciscan monks. Uh, I know that he was looking for a different arrangement than living in a uh, large urban city like he'd been living for most of our life. We were born and raised in Chicago. So he uh, came down here about two years ago when he, to so-called retire, but it turned out to be a reawakening for him. If you uh, wanted me to gauge what the family's attitude was concerning Shelley and Nellie moving down here, I could say that there was a, a sort of a spectrum of feelings and, and considerations. I think the main one was that he'd like go away and leave the United States and we'd never see him again. It was just uh, seemed like a long way to go. So this is my first time uh, really spending some time with him in the past two years. So I'm really glad to be here. I mean, the, the, the language is, is always a difficulty, I mean, wherever you move, and we found that to be the case too, and you know, I, I mean, both of us were sort of terrified when we first got here, but we've been fairly surprised by some of the difficulties that we had. It didn't, it didn't go nearly as smooth as we thought it would. The negatives of living in Ecuador are learning the culture um, and the language has been difficult. Um, trying to communicate is, is sometimes is hard. There's more positives for me than negative though. If you come to a foreign country, you have to learn the language that they speak. If you don't, you're missing out on a lot of interesting things and a lot of relationships. Unfortunately, the differences between natives and expats are worsened by the unwillingness of some individuals to assimilate into Ecuadorian society. Pero el aspecto negativo yo pienso que aún se resisten o, o al menos pienso eso en compartir directamente con nosotros. Yo vivo cerca de un condominio de de ciudadanos norteamericanos. La verdad, nosotros no conocemos, no hemos tenido contacto, no, ni siquiera sabemos cómo se llaman. Solamente sabemos que viven ahí. Ellos no hablan mucho con nosotros. Viven en su mundo pequeño y no comparten muy frecuente con nosotros. When you have a little daughter, like I said, it's totally different from being on your own when you're abroad. And the security issue, I, I don't want to think of it as an issue, but it is. And I don't, I don't like that we have guards. I don't like that there's electric fence, but things go down in Quito. People, I mean, violence and, and crime is a, is a big part. Entonces creo que esto es negativo de modo general, porque tanto para los, los ecuatorianos como para el propio crecimiento individual de estas personas que están perdiendo una oportunidad de conocer una cultura tan linda y maravillosa como de Ecuador. Regardless of their multiple attempts to integrate into society, numerous expatriates continue to feel disconnected from Ecuadorian culture. Definitely not. I don't feel I've assimilated into culture. I feel like I get by. I speak just enough Spanish um, to understand and, and get by and, and live. I feel like I have a ways to go. And I'll never fit in as far as my skin color <laughs> or tone and the way I speak. Even if I speak fluent Spanish, I'm still going to sound different and stick out. Un aspecto positivo de, de compartir nuestro diario vivir con 
con los americanos es que eh, podemos compartir experiencias. No necesariamente tiene que llamarse Ecuador, Perú, Estados Unidos, Colombia. Eh, necesitamos compartir con, las, con los seres humanos, comenzar a, eh, a estrechar los lazos de, de, de amistad, de ponernos, la, de compartir experiencias. Connecting as one people rather than separate cultures is a concept that leads to a versatile and worldly community. Many Americans come here for the prime reason of uh, it's cheaper to live or something like that, more economical. But the reality is that's only temporary because things change. What doesn't change is, um, you know, the culture of people and, and people themselves. And if you don't integrate yourself, what kind of life are you going to have?